Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kahila or K, and today is a yarn haul unboxing video. I'm so excited. I've been expecting these packages for so long now and they're here. So I'm gonna be unboxing two different types of yarn, well, two different brands. Well, yeah, two different types as well. Yeah, of yarn. So let's get it. Of course, as usual, I opened them because I didn't know what they were. <laughs> I really need to get better at that. One day, well, I didn't open up my other package that is not gonna be in this video. So I will have a yarn haul where the yarn is not open yet, where the package is not open yet. So let's get started. Let's start off with the Wool of the Andes, 100% Peruvian Highland Wool first. Okay, this is so exciting. I got 100% well, okay, I'm trying to get into wool now. So here it is. It is 100% proven Highland wool. Like I said, you can use the number six through nine knitting needles. And then for crochet hooks, you can use I through K. I'm going to be using, actually, <laughs> hold up. I'm actually going to be using a G plus today, which is a 4.5 because I, I have a bunch of sixes, but I would rather see what it's like to crochet with a 4.5 with it because I am starting to get into using 4.5, size 4.5 hooks with my worsted weight yarns. So I got this color right here. Well, I have like six colors, but this color right here is called Peapod. This Wool of the Andes yarn came from Knit Picks, and so did the other yarn that I'm going to talk about, but this came from Knit Picks. Love Knit Picks, and it is a worsted weight. It is 110 yards, 50 grams, and what else? I think that's it. So I got this color called Peapod. I also got this color which is another green it's called everglade heather oh this is beautiful are you kidding and then i got this color right here which is called amber heather and it has like it's like a rustic look i don't know but i really really love this color like i can imagine a nice woolly sweater with this idea maybe and then I also have this one right here, which is called Persimmon Heather. It's kind of like this one right here, but a lighter version. Oh my gosh, imagine this ribbing with this colored sweater or this ribbing with this color sweater. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> These are so beautiful. Are you kidding me? And then, so that's one, two, three, four. The last two, I got this another color green. I love green, okay? Can't you tell? I got this green right here. It is called grass, which, you know, looks like the color of grass. And lastly, we have this yellow color right here called caution, which is so nice. I love the like, it's not like a bright color, but it's still like light enough. And it's like kind of like a dark mustard, maybe spicy mustard, yeah. These are the colors that I got. I am so excited to use these, honestly. Like, ugh. I'm excited to use wool. I'm tired of acrylic now. I'm tired of like 100% acrylic. I can do stuff like my KC Element one where it's like 90% cotton, 10% acrylic, or like my other yarn, which is like 75% Pima cotton and then 25% cotton, or what? <laughs> 25% acrylic but like 100% acrylic no longer and I'm trying to slowly dive into wools you guys you guys the plans that I have oh my gosh I can't even say anything yet but uh, great plans are coming so I think I'm gonna swatch these no I know I'm gonna swatch these but I don't know which color I want to use I think I might swatch both sometimes I just swatch one but you know what Let's see what they both look like. Yeah, let's let's do that. I'm gonna swatch both. Okay. And as I said, I'm gonna be using this 4.5 millimeter hook, a G plus, and we'll see if it works. If it doesn't work the way I want it to, then I'll just grab one of my sixes because I have like 11 size six hooks, so <laughs> I can grab one of them. So let's put this yarn to the side and let's swatch the lighter one first, which is the persimmon heather 
Yes. done swatching this wool i forgot to tell you guys it's so scratchy like i could wash dishes with this thing okay <laughs> okay probably not but it is really scratchy it's like a soft scratchy i don't know how to explain it but this is the swatch oh my gosh i'm so glad i use a 4.5 hook because these stitches are so nice and tight like compared to what it would be if i use a six Oh my gosh, so I did half double crochet for five rows, and are you kidding me? This color is beautiful. I would love to create a sweater out of this. Okay, so this is the lighter color, so I'm going to swatch the darker color, and we can compare and see what they look like. Alright guys, I have finished the swatch for the darker one, and this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I just... Oh, I should really make something out of it. I might make a vest, like have a green vest with this ribbing. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. So this is the light one and this is the dark one. So you guys can see. Let me hold it up like this. So the dark is at the top. The light is at the bottom. Like, oh my gosh, a vest with these two, a sweater with these two. I would love it. But as usual, I'll let you guys know if I use this yarn and what project I do with it. I will definitely have a whole video on it. And it might even be in the title. So you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's it for the Wool of the Andes yarn. Let's move on to the next one. This next yarn, I am so excited to swatch. Okay, I haven't messed with chunky yarn in a, like a long time that hasn't been sweet snuggles. So I decided to get some chunky wool, guys, and I got two of them just to just so I can see what it's like. I got Tough Puff in yellow and a green, and yes, it's from Knit Picks, okay, Knit Picks, hello. It is a super bulky weight yarn, and this color is called Canary. This color is called Pear, which is such like, perfect names, okay. It comes with 44 yards, it's 100 grams, and... For knitting needles, you can use a size number 15 hook, and for crochet, you can use an M and N. So size M hook is an eight millimeter, and a size N hook is a nine millimeter. So I have my eight and nine here. I'm gonna swatch with both so I can see like which one I like better. And yeah, I'm so excited. I get to use my big hooks again. It's been so long, and I just got a nine millimeter hook, so this is like perfect. So this yarn is a weight six and it says it's 100% wool. So just wool, <laughs> all right? And it is soft to the touch. It's not scratchy like the Peruvian wool, but like, I mean, it feels like, you know, nice scratchy-ish wool, but it's not scratchy. It's like a soft scratchy. I don't really know how to explain that, but it feels really good. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch this green one because my favorite color is green. It's like literally this exact green color. Beautiful. So let's swatch it. Let's see what it's like. I'm gonna use an eight millimeter hook first and then I'm using a nine millimeter and I'll tell you guys like which ones I used and what it looks like. So yay.
Okay, guys. First of all, I have to say I absolutely love crocheting with chunky yarn because I could just like just go in and just oh, it's so smooth. But here is my swatch of this chunky yarn. It looks even better on camera. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So I did five rows, one, two, three, four, five, five rows of half double crochet. This is with the size eight. And at first it was a little tough with the eight because the yarn is just so thick when crocheting with it, like alone, it's fine. But once you start like yarning over and stuff like that, oh my gosh, this yarn is thick, but it is so worth it. I literally didn't even want to stop. Honestly, I was gonna make a purse with this, but I don't even know. This yarn is so thick. Imagine slip stitching everything together to, with this chunky yarn. That would be insane. But I don't know, I was thinking of like a chunky vest, but I'm gonna be doing that with the other yarn. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh. Let me know down below what I should make with this chunky yarn. Oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, this is... <laughs> This is amazing. I love it so much. I love chunky yarn. Okay, so this is with the eight. And now I'm gonna try it with the nine millimeter hook, which is this. And I'll see if it is even more seamless and more smooth. I'm back. And here is what it looks like with the nine millimeter. As you can tell, it's still so pretty. I love this so much, the stitches. Are definitely looser I don't know if you can tell you probably can't tell because like it still looks good but I don't know which one I would use they're both good the nine using the nine was like super seamless I didn't have any resistance or anything but they both make my hand hurt since I'm working with bulky yarn so I don't know maybe I'll use the nine I guess I'll just figure it out depending on what I'm actually making but yeah, I have no idea what I'm gonna make with this yet, but just like bask in the beautifulness of this swatch. Like, yes, oh my gosh. That's gonna be it for me guys. That's all the yarn that I have for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and let me know down below what other yarns I should check out, especially like bulky yarn because I want to start getting into some bulky wool and this is super bulky. But I would like to see if you guys know any other brands that have like nice bulky wool. Suggestions will be much appreciated, okay? If you guys want to see more videos like this from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because it will notify you whenever I post another video. And I'll see you guys in my next one.